In this video, we're going to deal with another word problem with function notation in the same section. So this one's fairly unique. We got to take a number, we got to double it, and then we have to add it to 11. Then we have to take that resulting number and multiply it by a number that is three less than the original number that we started with. Express the final result as a function of the original number. Okay, so this one is a little bit weird, haven't covered something like this yet. So let's introduce a variable. And let's say we let x equal the original number. Okay, so what are we going to be doing here? So we're going to take a number, x, we're going to double it, so we're going to multiply it by 2, and then we're going to add it to 11. So we got 2x plus 11. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that resulting number, so that whole expression, that's going to be the resulting number here, and we're going to multiply it by a number that is 3 less than the original number. Remember, x is the original number, so we're going to take this resulting number, multiply it, by a number that is 3 less than the original number. So basically the original number minus 3. Does that make sense? So let's go through it one more time. We're taking a number, doubling it, adding it to 11, and then we're going to take that entire number in brackets and multiply it by a number that is 3 less than the original number. This bracket here represents a number that is 3 less than the original number. And we have to express the final result, this is the final result here, as a function of the original number. So we could actually write f of x here. So basically we could say f of x is equal to the final result. Right? So the final result as a function of x, as a function of the original number, is basically equal to that. So if the original number was 5, then we would just plug in 5 for x in this expression, solve it, and that would give us the final result. But since we're not given an actual number, we have to state, we have to introduce a variable for that original number. But anyway, if you get a question like that, that's how you do it, that's your final answer. That's the function, that's the final result as a function of the original number which we let equal x is equal to that expression.